just fuck your bitch with some Gucci flip flops. Heart throb never, black and ugly as ever. However, I stay Gucci down to the socks. You get the bag and fumble it, I get the bag and flip it and tumble it. It's that time again. Hold on. Anybody know from Chicago? Hold on. Hold on. Uh, oh, wait, you got you to gotta turn it off. You got to turn it off because you never know. You got to turn it off. You never know. We can get sued by... Uh, Michael Myers. The <laughs> hey, that's that Michael Myers Halloween footwork video. All you got to do is type in Halloween. I mean, all you got to do is type in Michael, Michael Myers, Myers Halloween. My, Michael Myers footwork, that's the one when he was in the alley, pop bro. Up and he was going crazy bro. in the alley. A whole hey. thing body is next to him and he's footwork. <laughs> in Timberland boots, out of control. I don't know how he did it. Amazing. Oh my God. Hey, bro, look. Anytime, look, anytime you hear the, uh, like, because we might get sued by DJ Nate. Like, <laughs> was that DJ Nate? I don't yeah. know who that was, that but was, I know a motherfucker. That was, uh, DJ. Uh, it was DJ Nate who got his ass beat up. Damn. Now, you know what's crazy? He didn't even really get beat up. Motherfucker snaked the most Yeah, Let I'm me take that back. I retract that. Dude. I'm sorry, DJ Nate. That, well, you didn't get it because I hate when people say, motherfucker, I got beat up, bro. I'm gonna ran up behind him and snaked him. Not even ran up behind him, but, but just snaked him on some trying to be cool shit. Like, if you want to fight him, hey, say, nigga, put your dukes up. It's time to get it on. Is that. that video is still out to this day. Still out to DJ this. DJ Nate went missing after that day. I'm talking about DJ Nate. Fuck him up. So, this is the Flip Flops and Socks. The cozy is. You, you got a song for him? Flip. Testify. Yeah. <laughs> I said the coziest flip flops. Of course, we got cozy flip flops on, but this is the coziest podcast in Chicago, the number one coziest podcast in Chicago. I'm talking about I'm your boy, Paris. I'm Tashambi, man. And like, hey, you already got the party started over there. Uh, we was you, get, you getting it started over there. Because the foot. Doom, 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 and I ain't even here with the yo, yo, yeah. Yo, yo. So, what you want to give it to him again? Fuck it, come on. Are uh, y'all ready? Y'all ready? On the count of Michael Myers. Doom, 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 doom. Yo, 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 yo. Hey, man, look, I'm feeling good today. Yeah. Now, today is I'm, a look. I'm, I'm off it. You know, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. Hey, but know? no, look. I ain't even want to start the episode off with that. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you why I'm feeling good. Okay. Can Let I tell know. you why I'm feeling good? Let me know. Let me know. Because. An, an angel. I just met an angel. You just met an angel? I just met an angel. I think I know who that angel is. I'm talking about. She's not an average angel. She's not an average angel. She's a guy. And you know that song? You know that song? You know that song? You know that song? God sent me an angel. They gonna be like, y'all need a hey, uh, record deal. Hey, we oh, bro, nigga. If you look, let me tell you something. <laughs> Man, turn it records. Man, turn it. We got, we got it all. So let me tell you this. I be feeling like how Rug Rack was, like a baby is a gift. <laughs> she a baby, a gift from above. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm, you know, elated. I'm. Sh- He's elated, ecstatic, and all of the like ales that you can think of. And, and I and, know I can't have her because she's just why not? For why one, not? for one, she's out of my league. And you know what's funny? I'm if, for those I'm of y'all, Adonis, for those of y'all who don't know what, what he means, because this is what's funny. What he doesn't mean, what he does, what he means by that is. See, with this type of, let me just tell you this: you can't mess up with this type of woman. If you know, if you know, if you know, you know, you know, but if you know that you're not going to meet this woman's standards, whatever they may be in every way. Okay. Let me just say this. It's a waste of time. I mean, <laughs> you got to know your worth. Know but, your worth and know, know if, worth. No, and just know you can't. And know you your turf. Fuck it up. Back. Know your worth and know, know your turf. Know your worth and know your turf because you know damn well you ain't got no business stepping ain't, on Stanley's yeah. yard. Them that ain't grass no, ain't, ain't regular grass. grass. <laughs> Look, this ain't regular grass. You feel me? Bro, that in the, hey, and I'm going to say that if Drake is liking her pictures, then it's a problem. It's out of my league. It's a problem because- that man. Because this is the thing. It's not that Drake. Drake is better than anyone or anything. That's a fact. When he says that, it's that you understand what needs to be done. You understand what logic is. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
let's 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 actually be lo- let, let's actually like like you got to be logical with a motherfucker. Oh, you got to be real with yourself. That's like you going into a lie detector test. Oh my god! Knowing you did some goofy shit, like come on now, come into the lie detector test, take this lie detector. Don't you know, act like you. Like you know that be dumb, right? I'll toast to that. I will toast. Like, I will toast this like, nigga. Said nigga, you got to be logical. If Drake's liking her photos. Stand down because it's a man down. <laughs> so, for everyone who wants to know what we've been talking about for the last few minutes, mm-hmm. there is a, an angel that goes by the name of Elizabeth Liz Cambridge. And she is... Is it, is it Cambridge? Is, you it's, no, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's not Cambridge. That's Calvin. I was thinking of Calvin Cambridge from... Uh, <laughs> what, what, <laughs> from... Uh, what do you call it? Like Mike. Cambridge. Cambridge. From Like Mike. Calvin Cambridge, you got them like Mike. He pumped them up, but she like Mike too because she plays in the WNBA. She Elizabeth plays, Liz Cambridge, she plays for the like Angels be, in heaven. If I she, about, she look, she's bro, a I, starting player for the head, the the Angel, the starting guy, the Angel, the Engineers, <laughs> the goddamn Heaven Angels, heaven, the about. Heaven Above, <laughs> <laughs> the Holy Angels, the Holy like, Angels. No, bro, bro, I feel like because let me let me make you right. Let me make sure I get it right, Cambridge. Cause I was thinking she got me so look. See what I'm saying? That's what happens. See ass. when you when you're dealing with something that's be when you're dealing with something. You mean you know? And God, I knew I was going. When you're dealing with something that's above you. <laughs> and God, and God, the fuck you know? I'm like no, cause we in here. It's two a.m. at the BET Studios. Like bro, that's funny as hell. They was he was in that bitch tweaking a broadcast. Like he, he first of all he was on Wall I Cam. He, had, he was filming with a wall I cam, but we will we won't de- we, we shat we I, shat dare interrupt. I was gonna say how we dare you? We shat dare interrupt. Well, we I'm the, in the love, speech about this like, bro. I'm bro. You in love? So I, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. What you want? You want? You want to take this out camera and square up, fam? We, hey, we gonna have to shoot the two. First. You want to go out back? Come on, we can do. First, <laughs> first time we gonna we gonna rock hey, hey, paper scissors cut real quick. Hold yeah, on. Okay, so okay, so you want to do it? You, okay, you're right. I appreciate that. Let's be yeah. civilized. We gonna be civilized. Let's folks. be civilized. We can do it all. Okay. Rock paper scissors shoot. And then we gonna fuck around and have a goddamn outside scene like <laughs> WWE. <laughs> oh my god! They're backstage. They're, they're backstage. Oh my god! Jr. What is it? The puppies. Gang! Oh my god! What the stone go stoner? He's done so. Shoot, we going on shoot. This is for the love of Liz, cause I feel like she likes to be called Liz. I feel like she likes to be called Liz or Big E. I don't think she likes to be called Big Anything. Shit, baby girl. Hey, when you run in the world, baby. You see me, Scully, you you see Big me. baby. You when you run in the world. Oh, so you saying large, like large and in charge? Large, taking charge, now, baby. You know what? He, he, I, Everywhere you I, go, he got that one. Everywhere you redemption, go, right? Redemption, you, say, you go, redemption. You got they gotta that look shopping. up to you, baby. Don't have me start. Rock, we, we're going paper, on shoot, shoot. Rock, Rock paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, One, shoot. two, three, shoot. I bet. This is for all the marbles. This is my love. He look, he's loaded. He's loaded. First off, I can work <laughs> my, my wrist game. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? I see what you're doing. Two things I'm gonna beat: odds and my meat. You feel me? So. <laughs> I gotta make sure that like, this game is strong. Oh my god! I will drink. I don't even think I drank the. Wait, wait. I don't drink. I ain't drink. Drink wait, to beat the odds. No, no, no. Don't, don't drink because I ain't drink the first time. Hold oh, on. Fact. You gotta drink to beat the odds. What? Two things that us as men. Should gonna say what in the fuck? Two things that you should know about this man over here. I'm gonna beat the odds. Two things he's gonna beat always. The odds. But this is for the odds. This is for the odds. <laughs> this, is, this isn't for my meat. Now, this is not, we're not going to toast to my meat now. We're like, toasting to be nods. That's spicy. We're not going to toast to the meat. So we toasting to be nods. Skrilla, did you? You good? You in there? Okay. For the love of Liz. Let's, like let's start a TV show. To freedom. Let's start, let's start a TV show. Let's fuck it. Let's do it. I'm ready, like for the love of Liz. I need, for the love of Liz. For the love of Liz, I'll do the intro. For the love of Liz, I won't let your love go. Look, okay, no, no, hold on. You're not. You don't get an extra. No, no, no. You don't get extra eyes, man. Look at that. For the love of Liz. Love of Liz. For the love of Liz. You ready? Rock. Rock. Paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, my God. Baby, you're mine. 
You are. Let me tell you something about. And it. I'm your getaway. <laughs> you, you know what? what, what hey, what's that song? That getaway song. Who was who made it? Pleasure P. Uh, how did it go? How did it go? How did it go? How did it go? <sighs> no, no, no. I know. I know. This other one about Pretty Willie. Is that Pretty Willie? There was a lot of pretties back then. It was a lot of pretty, pretty motherfuckers back then. Don't you know that you're my good thing, even if you make a mistake and oh, do the wrong I thing. I forgive you. you. Oh, my Hold mama. on and don't oh, let go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so Liz, you're mine. I'm going to listen to that when I leave. I hope you do because Liz, you're mine. You feel me? And and and, and the light skin prevails again. No, 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 no bullshit though. No bullshit yeah, though. She's this very is, uh, attractive. She's very attractive, I, very talented. I'm not gonna even hold you like Bro, how I got a question. She plays for the Las Vegas Aces, first of all. How old do you think she is? She's definitely like 23, 24. She's 29 years old. She is 20. Oh, so she's a 90s baby. So she Watch this show, baby girl. All the things we Let me tell you something. About. Let me tell you something. I'm trying to intrigue I'm you, you my this. voice. I got Fuck you. Fuck a baby, baby. He can't see you like I can see you. Fuck a chef, baby, baby. He can't. He can't. What's that? What's that scream about? I, I love McConan. He don't love you like I love you. He can't sing like I sing. It ain't nothing better. It ain't nothing better. <laughs> it ain't nothing better than being alone with you. <laughs> being alone with you. So if you <laughs> this is an outright singing I, I like swear competition. To God, like if you Google this song, oh, this then we going down to the wire. Down this, to the motherfucker. For the love. Line. Hey, for, for the, the love. Of <laughs> hey, if you Google the song by I Love McConan, I know y'all don't probably remember who he is, but y'all some y'all some assholes if y'all don't, because he actually got some bangers. He actually bangers. had the club turned up on a Tuesday and still turned up on a Tuesday. Right, and that was not Drake's song. That was his song. Got the club going up on, on a Tuesday. Tuesday. That was him. So Google I Love McConan, Being Alone With You. That, that's the song I was just singing. He sings it, I promise you, exactly mm. like that. But that's not what I was going to say. What I was going to say about Liz is Liz. Let me tell you something. He doesn't want anything. He Let me tell you want something. <laughs> the, 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 the truth about Aroni. <laughs> yeah. She's a sweet little girl. <laughs> it's such a kind of girl that makes you feel good inside. I ain't got a lot to you. He got me. I he got up, you about that one. He up one. He up one. Bro, up the one. truth about Aroni, bro. I tell you, bro. Hey, but. I tell you what, uh, it doesn't take. It doesn't take. It doesn't take. It doesn't take all that. But you know what? It doesn't take either. What it doesn't take? It doesn't take all day to recognize sunshine. There are times <laughs> when you need someone. I will be by this side. <laughs> I, 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 am no, I am now. I am no longer your hype man said, because now it is, is a, a real. Light. That shines. Let me tell you special something. Special for you look. and me. Come okay, on, so I was polite. I said please. Yeah. I did say please, right? I said please don't go. Please. Hey, you got her. She ain't going nowhere. You got her. You got her. No, no, bro. Look, let me tell you something. Whoa. <laughs> she found all the numbers I had in my car. Oh, oh, you blew it? So you saying you blew it? Because I come in. Because, bro, if you going to come in, let me tell you something. Skrilla coming straight. I come in straight Trey Souls. Uh, shower loop. <laughs> this right here. I'm ready to drop you dirty now, you clean. I'm taking it back. I'm taking it back then. Okay? I'll take it, I'll take it back for you. You're clean. Compliments of Skrilla, who's on the ones and twos today. If it wasn't for the nine to five double up overtime <laughs> game, I would remember. Oh but silly God. me, silly me, baby. <laughs> Hey, we singing for oh your love, God. baby. We singing for your love. You better put that woman back. Damn, okay. You came hard. That's all I'm saying, man. That's all. Are we, are, can we shake on that? It was a hell of a duel. It was a hell of a duel. Can we draw? Can we call it a draw? No, we can't. <laughs> he got another one. He got another one. He wants I her love. I have more. He I want her, her love. love. He, let me tell you something about I this I want guy. her love. He won because he won fair and square. I shouldn't be doing these things, let but. Me you, let me tell you. As, let me tell you something. As the big brother. He's a monster. 
He is a he is fully. Let me tell you something. I I've raised a Frankenstein. I can't let him have her. <laughs> hey man. Nah, but nah. I mean, but I tell you what, that was a, that was that was a, that was a hell of an intro for him. But now. Gotta get to the formalities. Gotta get to those formalities, yes, man. Sir. I know y'all dying laughing, man. But if y'all if y'all don't know about her though, for real though, she played for the Las Vegas Aces. Liz. She's got Cam- is it Cambridge? And she's Austrian too. She's Austrian, by the way. She's a 29-year-old Austrian, and I'm just telling you this. That's is that that's German. That's Germany. Right? Let me tell you something. Austrian. Can I tell you something? German is German. German. Austrian. See the see what I'm saying? He doesn't even. He don't love you like I love you. I got this ice box where <laughs> my heart used to be. After I lost hey, no, hey, rock, scissor, paper, cuts I'm going to end it all right here. Can we, can we drink first? Damn. And I'm going to end it right here. Because I, I got a dance to go with mine. What? It better be something old school and original. Something you and Tim Marion started. Man, who? You and Tim Marion. That'd be original. Speaking man. of Tim Marion, it has to do with Omarion. Liz, can you let me hold you? <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm done. No more. He's one. Oh, hey, you remember that part of the good day. gentleman's agreement? Good day, sir. I, do, I do. I bid you I do. do. <laughs> I do and do. I bid you do. <laughs> and ribbon day. He won because I can't. I can't. I can't take that because that was it. Let me tell you in something. My mind and my heart all the time. time I want. See, I have to I join got, him. If you can't us. beat him, you that's Patty the Bell. If you oh. can't. You're disrespectful. Hey, if Patty the Bell show wasn't that bitch. If you can't beat him, join him. If you can't beat him, you join him. If you down by my side, if you time I wanna hold you down and make on scroll everything I write with you, you could never go hold you. Let me hold you. Yeah, he won that one. Down. Down. <laughs> hey, it's like a mother trying to get the last word. <laughs> yeah, my mother all want to flow with it. Oh, some uh, old uh, Martin shit, Pam and Gina shit. They try to out sing each other. Bro. <laughs> no, nigga. When on that song, uh, Tyrese, Ariel, Tank, and Genuine, uh, what kind of brother? Bro. Oh, 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 my brother, brother, brother. But that's my, oh, my brother. That's my fucking, oh, brother. Like, how many times? This song seven oh, minutes now. <laughs> Everybody's trying to get the last oh, brother in. They got a whole bunch of other motherfuckers, random motherfuckers saying my brother. They got rock stars and shit. <laughs> they, got, God, damn. God. they got Key Sweat and motherfucking, oh, my brother. Key Sweat came in that bitch. Oh, my brother, nobody. You hit it around the head. <laughs> oh, my brother. <laughs> Nah, nah, hey, nah, nah. hey, let me tell you something. For the love of Liz. You see, I see how hard we'll go for the love of Liz. Hey, no, she is dope. So y'all check her out. We saw a few videos and it's some it's some shit going on. So y'all make sure y'all check her out. The only person that probably could get a chance is Drake. Old quarter here. <laughs> His old pineapple here. You, you that. cool though, but damn. No, you know what it is. I'm hating. Of course. No, but you know what's crazy though? I'm not gonna say that though, because I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I scale that mountain. I was scale at. I was scale at mountain. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's up to it. See, sometimes, see, this is the thing. You have to be up to the task because that, when you climb that tree, that's a sequoia there. You feel me? That's a sequoia, Skrilla. That is a full on sequoia. Nah, she's one of those oak trees, one of those um, big old, 100 old, what, 100 year old trees in um, California, the ones that just, they there. They just, okay, oh my God. She's one of those. No, she is. She that's that's she's. And it's not. Dope. And I'm not trying to be like you know that guy. Just like no, nah, you we, bro. You I'm not gonna keep lie going to you. on and on and on. My no, man, but you know but. what's funny? The reason we keep going on and on and on, bro, is because it's some shit. So with that being said, um, we gotta get to our sponsors. <laughs> Y'all just stay tuned. Is, let me tell you something. We gotta get to our sponsors right now. Bro. All right. Episode twenty four. We got two four. Skrilla's nodding his head. This is the signal Skrilla has. So let me tell you something. We was getting a little schlizzy before this episode, which was actually good because we were paying homage. So we're going to continue. Can you, can you grab that? Can you grab that, please? Yes, sir. It's so for episode 24. 24. For episode 24. Oh, yeah. We're going to dedicate this one to Bean. For all of you who don't know who Bean is, that's Kobe. Kobe, Bean, Bryant. Let me tell you something. 2020 was a hell of a year. But we're going to make sure we prevail like we always do, just like Kobe would. Episode 20 fucking four. Skrilla, raise that Skrilla. Skr- hold on. You get, you, Skrilla, you get it in the air for me. 
And I'm talking about the glass, you freaks. Damn. Let me tell you something. I hate you even brought that up. That that you even acknowledge that because I, I didn't even think about that until mm-hmm. you said that. It's like fuck. They gonna definitely take that. Right, but unless unless you know what I'm saying, you make sure you clarify because this is being we talking about That's Kobe Bryant. That's a fact. R.I.P. Kobe, we love you. We miss you. He was my Damn. favorite player, just in case Kobe. y'all didn't know. He was my favorite player in the entire world. And now that just in case anybody who wants to know, it's the fucking king. King James. I see, I just I before people are actually champions. <clears throat> anyway. Bronny, so. if you listen, happy birthday, but just <laughs> Bronny, if you listening, that ass is grass. That ass is grass. No, no pun intended. No pun intended. <laughs> that ass is grass. No pun intended. That's a fact. <laughs> hey, so um, let's pay the bills, bro. Let's do that. Can we pay the bills? Okay. You want to? And to pay the, you know I do. To pay the bills, we got. Because we can wait the bills, wait. We can, we can let them wait. Nah. <laughs> but you don't want to wait till that pink notice. Oh, no, no, no. But you know who we got? The Quo Group. From storytelling to entertainment music to philanthropy, the Quo Theory of Change reflects its overall beliefs and has become a way of life for Kareem Quo Wales. The K stands for Know Your Genius. The W stands for Work to Be Unstoppable. The O stands for Own Your Actions. And the E, that stands for Explore the World. Whether it's frontlining some of the most upscale events in Chicago or putting in thousands of hours of volunteer work and community service, the Quo Group is an essential. And when I say essential, bro, I truly mean it, bro. I already know, bro. You and gotta we, and, stress that to me. And, you know, the, and you know. the public, I already know, like, he show love, bro. And right now, and, and right now, he showing love. He just, he just him, just him, 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 a heavy hitter like him, bro, choosing to to rock with us and our opening, our opening acts. That's a fact. You feel me? And now we into our second stages and we doing our thing and we get we hit our groove. We doing our thing. And he's still rocking with us, bro. And, I mean, and, and to have that mutual respect for one another, phew, that's all that matters. There you have it. So he's an essential part, like we said, of Chicago's entertainment scene. And I tell you what, the man is a motivator. He's an innovator. And he's an entrepreneur and everything else that comes with it. So y'all make sure y'all tune in. Y'all, y'all goddamn log on. KWOEgroup.com. And my neck was just super loud. And while you're on the web, go to Flip Flop Socks. That's what she said. Dot. I'm sorry. Come. He said my neck was just super loud. That's what she said. Oh, wow. She's a freak. She's a super freak. Super freaky. Yeah. <laughs> if you being freaky online, you might as well go to flipflopsocks.com where you can get your flip-flops and be a little freaky and, and make sure that you use that 10%, 10% discount 10. code, flop, flop, which flop, is flop, 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 flop. I like the way they did that. Flop, 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 you said, this girl is saying man turnity. Man turnity. And do y'all remember the man show? Yeah. The man show was completely inappropriate. It was so inappropriate. It was, it was so sexist. It was so, you say what? It was number titties on the man show. You remember the man show? Yeah. It came on Comedy Central with Adam. Oh, fuck, not Adam Sandler or Levine. But no, it's, it was um, the Adam's. Uh, uh, we'll get it. We'll get it. Oh, no, 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 Scheffner? Is it? Was it Scheffner? No, that was, uh, that was Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy Kimmel and Adam. Yeah, and some Adam. Was it Adam Scheffner? Hold on, man. I'm finna look it up because they looking up too slow in the back. The man show. Damn. Because because that's Adam so bad. I would love to watch that shit right now. The cast of the man show consists of Jimmy Kimmel and Adam. Sorry that we didn't get you. I'm so sorry. sorry. Okay, I said it wrong. Adam Carolla. Damn. Oh, look at look at that. Oh, everybody. Because oh, once you name is like, fuck. He's a, he's a legend. He's, he's a fucking legend, legend, he's a legend, 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 bro. He's a legend. He's, he's a, legend. a legend, bro. He's a legend. Skrilla, Skrilla is saying he's a legend too. So yeah. he's a legend. Sorry, Adam. Sorry, Adam Carolla. We apologize, Mr. Carolla. Um, Mr. Carolla. Hey, but the man show, bro. I was a shorty when that shit came out, bro. And I didn't even. I would love to watch the man show right now, bro. Like dead I'll, ass. That no, was no, like, no, what, no, no. Thousands. This was when the man show came out. The man show was out at the same time. Crank Angers came out. That was. Hey, crank anchors. So this is 2004, 2005. I'm dropping bombs, bro. Yep. I'm dropping yep. bombs, bro. We dropping bombs today. Crank on anchors was wild as wild. fuck. They brought it back, but it ain't the same. No, it's dry as fuck because you can't be like you. The humor and the shit they used to have, it was dry humor, but it was like, yo, okay, this so, shit is reckless. Like you said, and that was because it was early 2000s leading in from the era of the 90s. Now, I'm going to tell you what, what, remember what you said before we started filming today? You were like, um, last episode we talked about um, how Stone Cold came out with the beer truck and was like, because we was talking about um, the the boundaries, uh, the, 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 the arena orgy or some shit, something yeah. random. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, he came uh, in Sunday. and he with the beer truck and he sprayed beer all over the crowd. So we was like trying to figure out like 
or maybe they had the kids. We can't rec- quite recall, but maybe they had the kids back because they knew that that pro- that that um <clears throat> that sketch was coming or that problem, whatever was coming out with the beer truck or that whole scene was coming out. He was gonna come out with the beer truck and spray the crowd, so you wouldn't. But then we said we agreed. We was like, yo, it was the '90s though. So during the '90s, none of that shit really mattered. None of that shit really mattered. Like it was cool for you to get sprayed with beer. Because like it was like it was your, unannounced. Your, like, your parent was like, your guardian was like, did you enjoy yourself, son? Like, like, the like, like, like it was yeah. water. Like it was freaking water. Like, like it was nothing. Like, so now like, it would that was be a like shared moment. Like now the person would get the company of beer would get sued. Whoever was involved with it would be like, yo, that's child alcoholism, and you can't do that. Now all these extra things, which is fair. But that also comes in tune to what we're talking about with the man show because, again, the man show was a not to be tampered with, mess, trifled with because that shit was wild, bro. I I don't even – only thing I remember is that the fact they did yeah. actually have a show yeah. on Comedy Central. But besides yeah. that, I was too young – not too young, but it's like I didn't – Okay, so – The man show. It is what it is. You no, the man show showed a lot of man, shit, quote-unquote man shit. It was a lot of, it was a lot of um, Caucasian male shit, but it's funny. That's like Hooters. I've never seen a black person that got decided to go to Hooters because of the titties. Like, have you ever got decided to go to Hooters? No, but I can tell you a funny story when we was down in Wisconsin Dales and we was asking <laughs> I love for funny directions. Stories. And wait, 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 y'all, y'all was in Wisconsin Dales. I was in Wisconsin Dales with my family, and, y'all was and asking my mother for was asking for directions, okay. and she had this type of shirt on that showed her cleavage. And oh, I thought she had guy, a Hooters shirt on. No, no, no. And this white guy came up. <laughs> and she was like, "Hey, can you tell me where such and such is?" He was like, "I don't know where it is, but I can show tell you where Hooters is." <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, yo, I'm sorry. Yo, like, bro, this motherfucker is mad disrespectful. I can't laugh, I'm sorry. And to okay. this day, Look at my we face. still talk about this shit. Like, dude ass won't try to get on the rest, but he, I can show tell you what Hooters is. Like, yo, you disrespectful ass motherfucker. No. I, mean, what if, I mean, hey, hey, it happens. It happens to the best bro, of us. I am dead. Oh, man, that's a good one. Yeah. Now, let me say this. Let me say this. It is what it is. The man show. Was a show from the early mm, 2000s. So let's bring it up a little more current. The man topics that we, we kind of like the man show. Yeah, we kind of is. We ain't as wild as them, but we, are, we aren't as chauvinistic as they would be considered to be. We're not saying they were chauvinistic. We're not saying they're not. They weren't chauvinistic. I would love to see something because I know they probably said it's provoc- provoc- Some provocative. Provocative. It's my, you was shit. thinking about that, bro, that, that, that truth about a Roni, you was thinking about Bobby Brown. It's my all prerogative. Because I think I'm going to steal your girl. Yeah, he looking at he was, he was, he was, he was, see what I'm saying? He's already planning his attack, come, his comeback attack. We're going to say, sticking his teeth in. So let's make it more current. They were talking about a lot of topics that were, you know, during that time. So I saw a status today, and I wasn't going to bring this up, but I wanted to say this since we was talking about the man show. Um... I, I'm gonna tell you what the status read. Let me make sure I get it correct because last episode we wanted to make sure we got we paraphrased Ricky Layfield, so I want to make sure I get it correct. And I quote: <coughs> "I hate a send me a pic ass nigga." This is from the page of a woman, not a super super. Ooh, look at that! I got the it's snowing down. I got the ash ash guards coming soon. So That's fire. tell me. Tell me. You tell me. I feel some type of way because I'm a I'm good, send me a picture ass nigga. I'm good. Right. I'm a send me a picture ass nigga, so I feel some type of way. Let because me tell you something. I, I want to feel like I'm the only one. <laughs> so don't give even, me a picture on Facebook. No, no, you already know. Look. Thank you. Thank you. I, I'm going to tell you this. I am a very, 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 how very, very, how very, 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 He's a very Skrilla was first of all y'all don't even understand Skrilla the was just turning. Movements he was turning up. He was like the, the loose oregatang <laughs> at the <laughs> New York Zoo, New jamming York Zoo. to some shit that Timberland people, Timberland boot wearers, jam to. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was that Asian boy from Tang. Uh, <laughs> hey, I remember when Pootie Tang. Tang made that song. Pootie Tang. You remember he made that song? And it where was it was no words. That nigga was in that bitch. But low key though, shout out to Pootie Tang. And whoever played him, because I haven't seen him in no movie since. That's exactly how it was. Motherfucker came in that bitch like, turn that down. <laughs> so let me tell you this. I can't believe that you, you let me sing like this over you while you talk. You are retarded. So shout out to Pootie. I've never seen him in nothing else since. That, shout out to Pootie Tang. Because that was, it wasn't like, a, he's only. It was a unique movie. Yeah. 
So let me say Whoopie this. Whoopie towel to whoopie tay. Whoopie towel on a tippy towel. On a tippy tay. So Kanye is revolutionary when he wants to be. Now, I'm going to say this. Back. We had a... Uh, so, you are right. I agree with you, bro. I am a... Because we got to this very, very... I am a very, very, very send me a pick ass nigga, bro. Because also... Can I feel special? That too. And can a nigga adore you? Ooh, Can I hey, you, you know what's so crazy with that word? Talk Why, if you call a chick adorable, she feel like you talking to a fucking puppy? Well, if a chick call me adorable, I might feel like talk to a puppy, but I got common sense, so I understand that. Maybe I'm getting me a like, oh. Because I, because I understand. Thanks. Now, but, I mean, what you want me to call you? I mean, I, wh- I'm going to say this. If I call you adorable and you don't like it, just tell me what you want me to call you. Because if you don't, Fine, I'm not gonna, basic if, shit, you're sexy. If, if you don't, I'm not going to call you at all. You hear mm-hmm. what I'm talking about? Don't sue us for that, please. Now, um. <laughs> call me crazy, but at least you call me. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I'm letting you know, Liz, the shit ain't died down, and I'm using champagne shit. Motherfucking that bitch, diced pineapples make my babies taste the best. <laughs> Even though she don't know, and she ain't know it. His life got lavish as hell. Door handles, gold plated. Yo, door handles is gold plated? First of all, I got- Why? I got- First of all, I ain't got no door handles. Huh? This girl say his shit zinc plated. My shit, first of all, I ain't got no door handles, first of all. You know why? Why is that? Y'all want to know? I want to know. Can you show me? You know what I want to know? Liz, I wanna know what turns you on. Hey, he deserves you. He deserves you. He deserves you. Know you. He deserves you. I like the new. He deserves you. He deserves Skilla, you. Skilla back me up. Skilla, Skilla was on the ball and the tools back there. Appreciate it. Now, with that being said. But there's a meeting in my bedroom. Oh. You know what? Fuck it. What it is, ho. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> He just turned so wild, Liz. He has no respect for you. Sorry, Miss Jackson. Cause this hey, no, he, got it. he got it. He got it. He got it. He got it. Fuck. I had to take her back. But I'm gonna tell you this. This is the one thing that's gonna make sure you don't get her. If she go to you, she a pop pop chick chick. Bop, bop, chicken. Oh, please. Damn. Chick, chicken. Bop, bop, But long she drop yeah. down and get an eagle on. <laughs> she drop down and get an eagle on. I'm going to be all right. Ah, oh, speaking of birds, once she leave this bird, I believe I can fly. <laughs> I believe. That's how we going to soar together, me and you, Liz, into the sunset. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? So before he gets But after, <laughs> you, after you soar... Just remember you gonna come home and give me a tip drill. I need a tip drill. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Look at that <laughs> You blew it. You blew it. You blew it. You're out the you door. Blew it. You, you go up, you're up, done. Up, out the door. You go that out way. You go door. that way. You go up. No, huh? I'm not, I'm no, no bullshit there. though. That was you're you're retarded. I blew it. <sighs> that was pretty funny. Now, um, if you um you're 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 funny. You're a funny funny guy, bro. I I appreciate your humor because <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh so hard all the way into the microphone. But let me ask you this: because we're both two send me a pick ass niggas, mm-hmm. I feel like we have some type of bias. So I feel like we should turn it to Skrilla, and I feel like Skrilla should tell us, "All right, do you feel like, why you, the fuck would you turn it to me?" <laughs> That's what Skrilla looking like, nigga. What? So, do you feel like Skilla that um, that her statement? She just made a statement. I hate a send me a pick ass nigga. Do you feel like her statement was justified? Mm. No. Be, are you? A, wait. The classiest guy in the studio. He is the. When I tell you, he comes to the studio with a full tuxedo top hat. I swear, I was about to say ceilings. that. I mean, touching the ceiling. I'm talking about monocle, the little one, not the glasses, but the one little where you can see through the glass and the chain that goes into your jacket. Like a peanut man. And he said, I declare out there everywhere. I declare that this is the episode we are filming. The episode we are filming here. I declare. Or he, or he's more prestigious. I declare that this is the episode <laughs> that we are filming today. 
today. On this episode of Flip Flops and Socks, we will be we, we, we reviled with many, many secrets of the man. That sounds pretty like them. That like sounds like them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The English. Yeah, that's Skrilla. Jamaican me concert. The Skrilla has a monocle on as we're talking about these things. No, but that's real. So, you tell me, bro. Hold on. Since Skrilla's a... Well, not you. Skrilla, you tell me. Since you're a... Uh, the classiest guy we know, and now you're saying that she's not justified in her in her status. <laughs> not her status. She, she's not justified. In I don't her. know. I'm, I'm trying to play like because I'm an American, but I'm trying to play like I'm from London. She's not justified in her status. Her status was incorrect, Skrilla. <laughs> her status is no longer valid. So, Skrilla, are you saying that she shouldn't have said what she said? Because there should be no such thing as a send me a pick ass nigga unless she really a send me a pick ass nigga should never exist unless you really don't know the person. That mm. is the only time. Mm. Other than that, are you saying that? Because I say to her, a motherfucker I'll tell you. It's, it's, I was just gonna say it's it's it's, it's a neutral exchange it because is. you it's a fair exchange because a woman will ask you for a picture. Send me a picture. You will send her a picture, whatever, and they will compliment on. Ooh, I like that. I see what you're doing. Blah 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 blah. Soon as, as as soon as you say, hey, you're gonna send me something. <laughs> Clutching a pearl. Stab Ooh. in the heart. Why I never? I never. I, did, did your mama know she raised the damn fool? The damn devil. The devil. <laughs> in all my years, I've never been insulted this way. Mm. And I just be like this. Where's the JMO? Where's that cat? I heard you had a cat on the loose. <laughs> I heard you had a cat on the loose. Can I, you, can I tell you a funny story? <laughs> can I tell you a funny story? Oh my God. Can I tell you a funny story? Yes. God. So, you know, okay, have you guys ever been in a situation where there has been more either, okay, for women, for women, this is for women. Women, have you ever been in a situation where there were more, like you went to hang out and there were more women than men? The men that there were, though, you, you, everybody there were attracted to these men. Like, okay, I can see myself rocking with these niggas. Or for the most part, everybody was like, yeah, I can see myself rocking with these mm. dudes. And these, it's, less, it's less dudes. So the way women may... Or men, either way. So now I'm going to change it to men. Men, have you ever been in a situation where, also men, have you ever been in a situation, men, where you went somewhere and it was like, okay, I thought it was going to be like more women here, but the women that are here, it's more of us guys here, mm. but the women that are here are attractive. They are very, like, I, I like these women. They are nice mm. and all, like, they cool. Like, so it's kind of like everybody's like Biden for the attention. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Trying to get like, you know right. how I go if you... I mean, of course, the Adonis over here, he like, I'll lay back and take my shirt off and, like, all, and just, let all of the women I'll come. I'll fall asleep in a second. And I'll wake up and everything and, will just be handed and the, to when me. And the women would be swarming me. So, with that being said, <laughs> with that being said, for all the men out there who've ever been, like, you know, people be going back and forth with attention. We, I mean, no, no bullshit, all jokes aside, we really don't do that thing where it's like, if it's not enough, it's just not enough. If she's choosing, she's choosing. If she not, I'm not finna compete with 15 other dudes for these women like let's just shake the spot and find let's, let's do something else so it's a fact it's a fact but that's just that's 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 a very small niche of people who do that some people are like nigga fuck that I got the eye of the tiger there. I gotta have a thrill of the fight fuck you out. and I gotta have her so with that being said we were in a situation me and Skrilla all that to say I'm sorry all that to say me and Skrilla were in a situation where it was two women it was me Skrilla and another man we were all hanging out. We thought it was gonna. We thought it was gonna be even amount of women, but somebody dropped out at the last minute, so it's two women now. Let me tell you something about this. One of the women was related to the third guy, not Nia Skrilla. One of the women. It was only two women and three of us. One of those women. So we, you would think one okay, of the two was related to the guy. So they already know he. So was he out I, he canceled out. He canceled out. It's only one for him now. So either me or Skrilla guy tried to talk to the cousin or whatever. First of all. So we like, yeah, bro, you know what I'm saying? You did or whatever. But we're not really, also, we, this is our homie, so we're not trying to talk to his cousin. Right. So if anything, it's like, well, bro, your cousin here, that, that's, that's one that you got to cancel. You got to take that ill because, right. like, you can't get the extra one. You brought the one that, the extra one that was really supposed to be, for, you know what I'm saying? You got to cancel out, bro. So me, and Skrilla, me, me or Skrilla get the extra one, bro. Get right. the other one, bro. He wanted to mark his territory and let it be known that he wanted the other one that wasn't his cousin. This is what he screams out. 
He lays back. He he <laughs> the yanks. Fact you remember. He yanks. He yanks close to his joint like this. Man, I want some cat. <laughs> Wait, just blame bro, me, bro. Because you just said it's. I want the cat. It's some cat oh, on the yeah. loose. All that cat, shit, right, bro? All of that that came from you saying that because Skrilla knows exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Why did, that was that he I'm wild but no he wanted to make sure that the woman because of course he's not talking to his cousin right it's only one other vagina oh, in the so room he's letting it be known he's letting it be known I'm trying to, I, like me me I want me I want I want some cat and I want some cat <laughs> <laughs> me and Skrilla instantly started dying laughing bro because it, it was just so obvious bro it was so dumb and we crack that joke to the, until this day and I'll tell you what with all that being said, I thought y'all. I, I, thought you, I thought you were gonna say y'all cracked that thing to this day. Like, whoa, well, you on. guys are reckless. No, nah, we ain't that reckless. We ain't we ain't robbed it. So with that being said, pull you up a little bit um, for this. I know you. I know you ain't even got it. You don't. You, you ain't even got to get it out. I'm of weak, Nick. Ooh, wee wee wee. Yes, I'm here for you, baby. I got that in there. Y'all heard it, screaming? You heard me? I got it. He didn't even notice I did it. So him being none the wiser, we're gonna go on to. I heard you, but I'm going to have to eat some. <laughs> I couldn't cue him up. I didn't cue him up. I couldn't cue him up because he wanted to make sure. Now, can I cue you up Liz, now? Please don't go. I already did that one. I don't care, but she. <laughs> it's, a it. it's a re rock. It's a re rock. It's a re rock. I did that one, Scott. Oh, it's a I just don't care if you heard this song <laughs> was a two. So you're going acapella? <laughs> but I'm going to. Wait, 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 wait. Scott got you. Scott got you. Scott got you. What'd you say? Scott said, What's you know what you should tell her? <laughs> I bet you been sitting there looking at the left. And I know, and I you're, know you're getting, getting bored. Chilling with Phil. Hey, let me tell y'all hey, something. Hold on. I always <laughs> talk. <laughs> go, go ahead. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. That to he something. said that he was chilling. That, okay. <laughs> I'm thinking he was singing to Whitney, saying that He's I know about- you're getting bored chilling with Phil. <laughs> I thought it was always he a guy named Bobby Phil. Brown on the song Thug Lovin' was saying, Chilling with Phil. With Phil. A nigga named Phil. Nigga like Philip. Short like for Philip. Like he knew who she was chilling with. <laughs> like, but I know you get bored with him, you know? So like, he's, so Skrilla, did Skrilla just try to get in on this for the love of Liz? Because I think he tried to throw his shot did in. He too. just. You know, no, 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 no. He trying to, he trying to mask it. So before we let him get any more good ideas in, let's go to confessions of a list. This is for you. Oh my god. You know, of you, crew, even your baby hair too. Of a skull. Confessions of a skull. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running back. Confessions <laughs> of a skull. I'll let you have to go here. No, nah, that's cool. I already talked to my baby on the low. She, them, look, see, think about us. We like dolphins. We go through the side, the waves. The We're waves, like dolphins. The waves is what we we, we go we, we vibe off of. Can you know? I can I get enough? Can you get another? One? You want another? One? Can I? No, no, I don't want another. No, I want to get in there. Cause I give it to Liz. Confessions. Jesus. Now, episode. Kobe Bean Bryant. Too far. This Confessions of a Scum. I know y'all want to know what happened about last week. I know y'all asking right now, but Sean B never finished. Never finished. And I'm not going to finish because y'all should have been there. Let me tell you something. You should have been there. And if you wasn't there, you're lucky because he probably had the rocket missile. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. I got my ass beat up. <laughs> ain't going to hold you. He probably had the- You, you dumb motherfucker. You don't come over here like that. Oh. Motherfucker probably up the- up the, up the, uh, You mother- Now, nah, you about to die today. So, with that being said- I got something I want to say on this Confessions of a Scum. I got something I, want, I need to say. Actually. Get it off your chest, young blood. Get it off your chest. Get it off your chest, young blood. Get that internet off your chest. Yes, Lord. So, on this episode of Confessions of a Scum, episode Kobe Bean Bryant. I have to tell you something, brother. Talk to me. Talk to me. Everything I do is singing. I told you it's gonna be like that. Yeah, cause you, cause not only the vocal coach, but you just trying to win Liz over, and it's it's fine. I let you. I, I, I see what you're doing. I see, but I can't. I see what you're doing. Cause Skrilla just tried to swipe it. Now let me tell you this. You won. Baby. She um. She better choose me now. With that being said, um, I 
have something for you, Eagle Man. Look Eagle that. Man. If you don't have <laughs> title, you probably won't. It's gonna, look, it's gonna look like that. So um, I got something for you, bro. And this week, I tell you, it's a, it's quite a, it's quite a doozy. I gotta make it fast, but it's quite a doozy. I had the pleasure of looking at those low rates. <laughs> <laughs> if only the real know. No. I, I had the pleasure of uh. When I was, I can't say a wee lad because. A wee little lad? I'm going to say this. I was a wee lad. I was a wee lad. Okay, can I ask you this? When you were young, did you ever have a crush on any of your teachers? I know we talk about mothers. What? I'm talking about when you were, too, when you were way too young to be having crush. What? Like, I remember. What? Name my name. Was she like Miss Trinidad from Martin? Yeah, Miss Davis was like that. Mm, he I named the lie. name. And I, can I tell you who mine was? She was fine. Can I tell you who Mal was? Who that? Miss Hardwick. Can I say a can I say a whole name? Go ahead if you know. Her what? name is Gwendolyn Hardwick. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of Gwendolyn Hardwick, so just, you know, be easy. <laughs> my mama name Gwendolyn Hardwick. My mama name right. I don't want my fucking coming out. Like it's a lot of Gwendolyn Hardwick. Nah, nah, it's, not, it's not your mom, player. It's like, not your be, mom. Be, be, relax, she, guy. She relax. I don't like the Gwendolyn, I know. But this was before I was so. This is actually pretty. This is actually really scummy. Not really scummy in the sense of like nasty, but like when you know you're. This is, this is the confessions of a manish. Like, cause this is pretty manish. I was too young to even care about any of these things. But I tell you what, when you're a young man and you're finding yourself, you feel me? There will be nothing that stops you from making sure you get a lot of a lot of mental pictures in your spank bank. You feel me? You want to make sure the they lock spank in. Bank. Ayo, spanko de banco. You get what I'm saying? You want to make, <laughs> wanna make sure you get why those. Can, why can I see that being rolled on the side of the building? Man, that's, hey, that's, that's, what did you say? El spanko de banco? And I'm just going to say this one thing. It's nothing that I did that was inappropriate or anything, but for my age it was, I guess. Bro, I had a situation with Miss Hardwick where. It, I have to be a man. I, I, it's not scummy because I was actually a hero, but it's the split second. It's the split second that I wasn't a hero that that makes me when I was a young boy like you should you you a, you a dick you a scum. What happened? Okay, so we she was teaching a class one day, and her she had a skirt on. She had a turtleneck with a skirt. It was like the winter time. She had stockings on, but I distinctly remember whatever we were doing in class but she was walking to we was in a circle a semi-circle she came to us the class i was probably like fourth grade fifth grade or some shit she came to us maybe six she came to us the um the semi-circle she was walking to and her right. desk the edge of her desk caught her stockings and it was like a huge rip so she's like okay give me a second y'all she had the lady that you know like the um teacher's helper kind of lady right sitting in on the class blah 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 right. she went to change come back no stockings on I don't know why this was like I, this. I'm a young guy. My first time seeing legs, no stockings. The only place I know no stockings is my teacher, my grandma, my mama. You know what I'm saying? So this teacher had that. I'm talking about. She was built like a brick house too. She was oh, she was slugging like she wasn't like over like thick, but she was like bro, a nice like bro. Come on now. So what I'm saying is this. She sat at the desk. She said, I guess she was like, uh, I don't know if she want my fucker. I don't know if she didn't think as kids. You know how women shave their legs. As kids, you're not gonna be like, oh, hairy leg, like. Right. You're just looking at legs as an right. adult. Even men are like, man, her legs, Harry, she need to shave. I women shave because they want to be smooth. That's so with that fact. being said, all that being said, she's sitting at the desk, bro. And bro, the, the sunlight creeped in, bro. The sun, that's all I'm the sunlight creeped in, bro. And I, I got a glimpse of heaven for just a second. Now she was sitting, I'm talking about usually she was she was sitting like this. Bop, 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 bop. So she was like, yeah, no. So you got to under... And I'm talking about the sunlight creeped in for that split second. Ooh. I witnessed glory itself. Was it hairy? You know what it was. You know what? I won't lie to you. It was. It was. But it wasn't hairy enough for, to keep me from seeing what was really yeah, going on. I ain't going to lie to you because this was back in the this day. This was back in the day. Motherfuckers didn't play this that. This the 90s. Uh, having that little girl. Yeah, motherfucker look. need that bush. Motherfucker need that bush yep, before you got that touch. Yep. So with that being said... Damn. I, I stood up, 
I walked to her because I was like, I can't, I can't keep looking at this. I know that shit was weird back then, bro. Seeing like a woman cream and she got all that hair, and it's like you got all that. Cream wait, 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 wait. Cream, a woman's cream. She's a teacher of a class, first of all. She's not creaming. No, She's no, not no. doing any of these. I'm things. not. No, no, I'm just saying in general because I'm thinking. about Oh, you're just the wolf, saying like the South Spot. The, the, no, I'm just thinking the about the wolf cooch. Like just having the hair on your vagina and you're yeah. and that back then just having sex. She's like, oh, oh you said actual sexual. So I'm not talking about sexual. No, I wasn't. I see this this scum. See, look, he all this is he's a real scum. He's all. <laughs> let me let him finish. So, but that is pretty funny. It's getting nah. entangled. It's that was real entanglement right nah, there. That was that 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 cream and that and that coochie hair. That was that was true definition of true entanglement. Definition. That, if you say entanglement right back then to them, they'd be like, yeah, I know what that is. Like, that's when all that yeah, cream in that, that coochie hair. That cream. <laughs> all that cream in that coochie hair. Uh, so with that being said, um, Liz, I love you. Now, so I am simply saying that Liz, you don't love you enough. <laughs> so with that, so with that being said, I said I can't, I can't. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, I have a moral code. I'm not a, a, a creep. Right. I'm a scum. I'm not a creep. Right. So I saw it. I was like, oh shit. You look back. After I looked, I said, is that what I think it is? Oh yes, it is. <laughs> so I looked back and then I said, yeah. If I notice that somebody else is gonna notice it, I quietly, slowly walked up to the desk. I approached that desk to be a man about it. I said, I stood in front of her so that nobody else could see. Right. Gentlemen, give me my gentleman points. Thank you. God thank damn. you. No, that, give, thank, I don't give a fuck if you hit everything. It hit. Thank you. Give me my gentleman points. He stopped that can I get a, can from I get a, being can I get a minor free. toast? Can I get he a minor? He stopped that cooch from, from being seen. seen. Chris girl in the background. So I walked up to the desk and I was like, I covered it, you know, the front so nobody else could, you know, see what was going on. And I said, hey, can I, can I tell you something? Like, I was nervous. You know, I'm talking to a grown woman here. This is my teacher. She said, yeah, what, what, what's Paris? What's going on? Like, she was, you know, in the middle of our speech. What's going on? I, can I tell you something? She said, yeah. I said, can we go to the hallway? She said, oh, it must be serious. Like, she said, I could see the look on her face. We walked to the hallway. She said, what? I said, well, I don't know. You was kind of sitting weird. So, like, you kind of open your legs a little too far wide, so I don't want you to keep sitting like that through the class because, you know, people might crack jokes. Now, as a kid, how do you think she responded? Oh, crack jokes? Like, thanks. Uh, thanks. <laughs> you heard that skill or what? Thanks, I'm a teacher you at. Thanks for covering me up. Because you covered up before you told her to come outside. Oh, wow, wow. You're yeah. saying, like, thank, thank you yeah. for covering me yeah. up. I expected her to respond that way. Thank, thank you, Paris, for telling me that. Because she wasn't aware. She was sitting up like, you better. I'm talking about, oh, this is, you better. Cooch out. And I'm just like, damn. But it was only for a split second. So I expected her to respond like that. But you know how she responded? Do you know? She snapped. I'll let you know on the next episode, episode of Flip Flop Inside. Flip Flop Flip. 24. Four. 25. Oh, well, 24. Well, no, 20, you're right. It, 24, we out. Yeah, but it'll be 25. And 25, we on deck. So yes, we appreciate y'all, man. Everybody for coming in the fam once again and joining us on another episode. Episode 24, episode Bean, Bryant, Kobe, RIP. We love you. We love miss you. Love you, my you. boy. And I tell you what, we out.